you ready for the show tonight? I was born ready. <laughs> I can't believe Mr. Ashby has us out here cleaning the floors, though. He says it builds character. <laughs> you got a lot of scrubbing to do. Uh, Matt! God, ow. Lighten up. It was just a joke. <laughs> anyway, are you ready? Yeah. I feel like this is finally our year. Me too. I can't believe we finally get to be on This Is Arlington. Milan, one of our reporters is out sick. I need you in the show today. Really? That's right. Put that Clorox wipe down, get camera ready, and get out on the set. Thanks, Mr. Ashby. <laughs> what about me, Mr. Ashby? I still see an entire hallway that needs to be scrubbed, Maddie. It doesn't clean itself. Can't you get one of the annoying freshmen to do it? I asked you to do it because I know I can count on you. Once the floor is entirely clean, then you'll get your chance to be on the show again. Matt. You're an A player, and no task is too small for an A player. Now get to scrubbing. Yes, sir. All right, let's roll tape. Welcome back to This is Arlington, Arlington High School's student-produced television show. I'm Jake Stoop. And I'm Brent Lyons. Without further ado, let's take a look at our top stories. Well, things are moving right along here at Arlington High School. We are already in the midst of homecoming festivities. Tuesday is retro-themed, Wednesday is squad day, Thursday is class distinction day, and Friday is tiger spirit day. Celebrate homecoming with us and show up with your best outfits. Now, Brent, what day are you looking forward to the most next week? Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to Spirit Day the most. Getting to rep Arlington colors on our homecoming day is going to be a huge day. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the football team and team spirit, the Tigers take on Overton to cap off what looks to be a great homecoming week. If you can't make it to the game, make sure to check it out at HS Tiger Life on YouTube for our live stream of the contest. Seniors, want some 2023 gear? Signs, stickers, and shirts are all available for a great price. Check out Schoology for a link to all of your Tiger merchandise needs. Let's go! Stripes is finally back and you can leave your room without asking your teacher. Just kidding. In all seriousness, Stripes are back, which means you can sign up for extra help from teachers along with finishing tests and quizzes. Hashtag squad goals. Now it's time to take you to our featured story of the week. Tiger Life reporter Chris Beck brings you this story about a special member in his family. Craniosynostosis is a birth defect in which a child's skull hardens before their brain has fully grown. If this condition is untreated, it could lead to having a misshapen skull, vision loss, and brain damage. Adeline Cochran is just one of these cases. What about it? Um, it really just tore me apart just knowing that you know my kid was born with something that I couldn't help. Um, just knowing that she was going to have to have surgery and um, that there wasn't anything I could do about it. Just that's probably the hardest thing about her having it. When I've learned of uh, Adeline's surgery, I was a little shocked. Thinking about them having to cut into her was nerve wracking. She was five months old when she went into surgery. Recovery. She spent uh, three days in the hospital. She did really well the first day. The second day, um, her face started to swell and um, her eyes were swollen shut. Um, um, that's when she, her blood pressure started to spike one day and she ended up having to uh, be put on morphine. Um, the morphine ended up really helping her um, and she did a lot better the next day. Uh, but by the third day it was like she was her old self. But I mean, honestly she was, it was like nothing ever happened to her. celebrated her first birthday. Um, she was six months 
post-surgery, doing great. You can't even see her scar anymore. It's hidden completely by her hair. Um, you wouldn't even know that she had surgery now. If you would like to learn more about craniosynostosis or support families going through a similar situation as Adeline's, please visit craniocarebears.com for more info. This is Cameron Bobbitt reporting for This is Arlington, signing out. Thank you, Chris and Cameron, for that very special story. We look forward to seeing more great work from them this year. Now let me introduce to you, introduce to you Tiger Life reporter Lila Scobie. Thank you, Brent. As with every school year, there are a lot of new faces at AHS in the halls, but not everyone at this school lives in Arlington permanently. Ashton Gillespie and Julia Hardy bring us a closer look at a student very far from home. This may just look like a normal high school to most people, but to Macy, this is where friendship started. Although from thousands of miles away, there is one thing that can stand between borders, friendship. Macy and Bernie came together by their love of the international sport soccer. From Germany to Tennessee, here is Bernie Pays. It's, it's part of an exchange program, so I applied for going to the U.S. and I'm alone here, so I live with a host family. I was super excited because she's from Germany, I like a whole part, uh, the whole other part of the world, and she just speaks a whole other language and just somebody new that I've like never experienced before. From games on the weekdays to hanging out on the weekends. Our short amount of time that we've been together, we've already gotten so close. We spend practically every day together just going to soccer back and forth. Tonight we have a pizza and movie night planned for later tonight to make our own pizza. Although Bernie is just a manager, she is the soul of the team. She's been a really good addition to us on the sidelines. Um, I can hear her screaming for the girls, kind of y'all laughing together on the yeah. sideline. You can just tell that she's having a good time and that y'all are enjoying her being there. So. It's been awesome having her there. Not only has the soccer team brought Bernie and Macy together, but countless friendships that Bernie will never forget in her American experience. So I thought like, I will never find friends. It will be so difficult. And then on Monday afternoon, I went to soccer tryouts, mm -hmm. or only for me. Mm -hmm. And they all were like, like we've met five times before and are already best friends. <laughs> they were all, like, all very cute and so nice to me. And, or like, oh, I'm so excited you're here, and it was very nice. So I felt like very comfortable. People love dogs. Dogs can be lovable little fluffy bundles of joy that just spring into your life with veracity. But for some people, they need dogs. Service dogs are a very important factor in a lot of people's lives. And that is true even here at AHS. Connor Hughes is a junior this year, and he is accompanied by his best friend, Flash, a little black lab that is just stealing the hearts of all AHS. Today, we are going to learn more about Flash and Connor and their day-to-day -day activities together. So January, January 12, 2016 at 9.27 a.m. was when the doctor diagnosed me with type 1 diabetes. About a year and a half later, Two years, two years later, we started looking at service dogs. So we went to a place not too far from here. He has 12 other brothers and sisters, and we chose him out of them. And then, so we got him when he was four months old. After that, got him trained, sit, stay, stuff like that. Got him his good citizenship award, meaning he can go out in public and he won't be a nuisance. Then we, then we got him diabetes trained, which we went out to Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, and we got trained by someone else who trained us to train him. But um, my 10th grade year, we had a great year. He, he loved it. He loved being in class. His favorite, um, his favorite class is the JROTC room because it's big and he has this little corner that he goes and sits in. And yeah, but uh, he loves it. He loves being here. I am sure he loves everybody giving him praise and adoration. Thank you, Matt and Diego, for bringing us a closer look at Connor and Flash. One of our Tiger Life reporters called in sick today, but fortunately we have Milan Bailey here to bring us our final story. AHS sports are in full swing, with a multitude of teams already knee-deep into their seasons. 
Reporter Ryan Kuhn spotlights this football team in his next story. Here's a look at one of their special programs. Football, America's favorite pastime. People of all ages enjoy the sport, but now we have high schoolers to thank for setting the new generation of players on the path to success. Behind me is where the AYS team practices. This is where they do their weekly practices, where they get ready for their games and where they actually have their games. So all the parents will come sit their chairs right here, watch their kids practice, and the team will come and help. In all previous seasons of Arlington Youth Football, teams had only been taught by coaches and parents. But that all changed this year with the help of Coach Miller. Um, ever since I took over as head coach, it was my plan to tie the high school program into the youth programs, and that's just one way that uh, I've seen done in some other places that uh, really gets community involvement and gets a sense of uh, you know community and pride. And uh, you know I think it's good for the seniors to uh, tie back in and give back to the youth, and it's really good, exciting for those youth players to get to work with those high school players that they get to come and watch play on Friday night and gets them excited about one day, you know, being in high school and, and being a Tiger and getting to uh, play on Friday nights as well. At first I was thinking, I was like, I'm really not trying to go to these practices and help. But as I've gone, um, I've really enjoyed like spending time with the kids and the coaches there. When they see older kids there, um, they think of us as like the best of the best, basically, like no matter how good we are or anything like that. Um, the kids just really look up to us, so when they see us at the practices, they're, they really enjoy it. What was the public and the parents' first like initial reaction to when they first saw the seniors coming to help out? That's the kind of partnership we want with the high school. We want the kids to understand what that track is, where they, where they can go and where they will go in the future. They're the future of the program, so they need to be learning what these guys are doing, how they're being taught, what the schemes are. I mean, this group right here will be your seventh grade middle schoolers next year, and then before you know it, they'll be freshmen, so they need to be learning from these guys. It may be a newly established relationship, but hopefully in the next few years, it will blossom into something amazing. Now, it's good to see the current Tigers pouring into our uh, future Tigers, so I love to see that. For sure. Yeah, I love to see the seniors and juniors on the Arlington football team kind of get to raise these guys up and kind of build the future for what the football team is going to look like a couple years down the line. Yeah, for sure. And speaking of current Tigers, we've got the Bartlett game tonight. This will air next week. But what do you think of it? What do you think of the game? Um, I think it's going to be a great game. It's always a rivalry, so it's al always awesome to see the students and the communities just come out to play with each other. Um, it's really a great game. So I think I do think Arlington wins, though. I'm going to say 38-31. Arlington really? is going to win the game. Man, I, I want to put my trust in the Tigers, but every, every time I do, I feel like I'm let down. But we'll see what happens. I have trust. So, yeah, we will definitely trust. But that's going to be a wrap for us here at the desk. Thank you for watching This is Arlington. We hope you enjoyed the show. While you're here, turn on post notifications to see when This is Arlington comes out with another episode. Be sure to watch for our upcoming live stream broadcast, the first one being our next home football game against Overton on September 9th. For all your Arlington sports needs, check out the Men and Hoodies show, premiering the week of September 12th. For all your national sports needs, check out the Men and Hoodies podcast on Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.